warning. This video contains loud noises and strobing effects that the viewer may find disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome back to Brady's Hobbies. Uh, today I have an interesting video, um, kind of not really stemming from trains that much, but more my hobbies on my electronic side. Uh, this, as you can see, is a fire alarm panel with all sorts of devices and stuff like that. So uh, I figured we'd go into it today. Uh, I kind of wanted to give a little bit of a demonstration of it, show you how everything works. Um, this has kind of been uh, a project of mine that I did about three or four years ago, and um, I've had I've added devices, I've subtracted devices, I've changed devices. Um, this is my current setup I have now. Um, as you can see, it's got a conventional panel set up. It's a Firelight MS4424B, um, 24 volt system with four zones. And we have four pole stations here, a notifier pole station, um, we have a Firelight VG12, uh, this Faraday F1GT, and then we have a Simplex 4251-20. Um, also, this little box up here, as you can see, this is a uh, wheel lock sync module. So we have wheel lock devices here and here. This is a uh, Faraday device. Um, so when these devices go into alarm, these strobes will sync, this one will not. Um, because basically this wheel lock sync module is only kind of used for wheel lock devices. Um, so this Faraday device will just be, you know, kind of continuously flashing and, you know, screaming as it does. So um, right now I have the devices uh, set to um, continuous, um, but because of the sync module, these two will go into code three um, and they'll kind of be uh, in sync. Um, so before we test, I just kind of want to show you guys the wiring. Um, it's a pretty simple system, honestly. Uh, probably do it yourself, to be honest. Um, the hardware, it's simply just a 4x8 sheet of plywood that I kind of cut into uh, a 4x6 uh, setup, in a sense, or a 4x4. Um, the hardware setup is kind of simple. Uh, as you can see, there's electrical back boxes that I have mounted here, here, well, pretty much for all the devices, and then I have this kind of just directly screwed into the board. Um, so very simple. It's got a plywood sheet that I kind of trimmed down to size so I could, was able to fit it in my basement. Um, I didn't make a stand for it yet. Obviously this is literally just kind of free as it is. I actually have it right now. I have it leaning up against the, uh, the wall here. Um, I was going to make a stand for it, but then it would be kind of hard to move around and stuff like that. So I figured, you know, why not just kind of keep it simple. Um, and it's kind of worked for me so far and I'm able to kind of change up devices as I want to. I can actually just kind of move this around as I want. Uh, I'm not going to move it around right now because actually there's power to the unit. Um, so, uh, let's get close and I'll show you some, uh, some wiring diagrams. The control unit itself, this is a Firelight MS4424B. Um, I have all the keys to the unit right here. Um, so if we open this up, we'll see... The door, the great thing about these firelight panels is that the door can actually just come off for easy maintenance. So usually when I open up the door, I like to take it off. Um, as you can see, there are two NAC circuits, and then there are uh, four zone circuits. You can see I have resistors over the last two zones, so it's not in uh, trouble for the circuit. Um, and you can see this is kind of wiring I have coming out of here. It goes into that hole behind the board. And I'll show you behind the board in a minute, and then it kind of just goes to the devices. So you have the NAC circuits up here. Um, obviously, the NAC circuits go into the sync module right here, and then they come out and go to the devices. Um, and then I have the pole stations, and those are on the zone circuits. So I believe each pole station has its own zone. Uh, I'm not exactly sure which zone goes to which. I'd have to look at the, uh, the wiring for that. But it's something like each zone, one, two, three, four... <laughs> or something like that um yeah so we do have a system trouble on here right now and that is a power trouble i don't have any battery leads attached currently um because you know obviously this is just a very temporary system you can see the led there is uh is lit up because there's no battery detected and then down here we have kind of just spare parts i have kind of stored in the panel we have the 4.7 k ohm resistors um that's in there and then there's just miscellaneous um, paperwork here for devices, and I have a set of earplugs here that I will use when we uh, do the test. Um, it's very important. I like my hearing because uh, I would like to hear for my entire life, hopefully. I won't go deaf anytime soon because these devices are very loud, um, even when they are set to low volume, especially in this basement here. 
Um, so basically I got to keep my hearing. So I got to put on hearing protection and make sure that I, uh, I'm all safe with that, all the PPE required. So let's go take a look at the wiring behind back. So the fire alarm panel gets power from a old lamp plug that I kind of cut. And, um, you can see it just plugs directly into a wall outlet and the whole unit kind of gets power from that. Um, you can see that the NAC circuits kind of, the NAC circuit goes up here. Um, it comes out of the panel. It goes into, sorry, I'm trying to follow the wiring here. Um, but you can kind of see that it goes into the sync module here. And then from the sync module, it goes into the two Wheelock devices. And then finally to the Faraday device right here. Um, so I just want to reiterate that during the test, you're going to see that the two Wheelock devices will sync. The Faraday device will not sync because it is not compatible with the Wheelock sync module. So for the wiring for the zones, um, it's a little bit more simple. Um, you know, it's a class B setup and you have, you know, your wiring going out of each zone. Um, actually, I believe only two zones are occupied right now. Uh, let me take a look at that real quick. Yeah, so if you look here, we only have um, two zones occupied right here. So I'm guessing it's going to be zone one alarm here and a zone two alarm here. Um, this one says zone six. Um, it's not zone six. This was an eBay purchase. Um, so that was actually from a different system that it was ripped out of. So don't get too confused on that. As you can see, the panel only has four zones. Um, but I believe that this left side is gonna be zone one. This right side is gonna be zone two. Um, the panel only has four zones and two of them are um, kind of jumped with that end of line resistor right there. So um, I think that's about it, honestly. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. I'll, uh, I'll be happy to answer them. It's a pretty basic system. There's really not much, uh, not much to, uh, to talk about here. So uh, I guess we'll go ahead and we will start the system test. All right, so I have my hearing protection currently in in both ears uh, because I'm gonna be ear level with these devices. I'm kind of kneeling right now. Um, so basically, uh, I don't want to get deaf. I've, I've said that again and again. Um, those who are into this hobby, they know that these devices are very loud. Um, so we'll just get to it. Uh, I got to find my key. And I think we're going to do this 4251-20 right here because it's a pretty easy. You pull it, you reset it, it's pretty easy. So uh, give me one second. I got to find a cat. either a Cat30 key would work or a B key. Um, I actually have a Cat30 right here, so that's what we'll do. And I'll try to get out of the way when the devices go off. Uh, my big head's going to be in the way because I'm going to be kind of reaching over. So, all right. Three, two, one. So you can see that this one's going in continuous. And you have this one going in code three. My camera's not picking it up very well. But these two devices, their strobes are in sync. And you can see on the panel, I'm not sure if you can see it from where the camera is pointed. But we have an alarm right now in zone one. So I'm going to silence the panel and I'll show you what I mean. So I don't know if you heard that, but that was the that was the piezo to one of those devices that was kind of winding down. Um, we're still on alarm currently. Uh, I haven't reset anything. So this is what I was talking about. Currently we have a system alarm and it says zone one. So I was right in my hypothesis about my wiring that this is gonna be zone one and this is gonna be zone two. Now, I'm only gonna do this quickly because I don't have my hearing protection in and I just wanted to show you guys um, the other zone in alarm. So I'm gonna quickly try to grab my key for the firelight pole station, and then I'm gonna reset kind of as quickly as possible here, just so I don't damage my hearing. So I'm gonna point my camera at the zone board right here, and you'll see that zone light up in a minute. And I'm gonna silence it as quickly as possible. Okay, that is very loud. Um, 
wow, okay, especially when you're really close to it. Um, but as you can see right now, zone two is now in alarm. I've reset the pole station so the switch is in the normal position. Uh, so we'll close this. And if we reset, that door's closed. And if we reset the system, you should see that that trouble should come back for the battery but we have no zones currently in alarm. So I'm gonna just kind of silence that right there. So that's gonna be it for this video, folks. Um, if you have any other questions regarding this, uh, the alarm system, or any questions uh, relating to fire alarms in general, please feel free to reach out in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them as long as I, uh, I know the answer. So um, uh, thank you again for watching. Um, I will have some videos more up soon. I've kind of been busy with work and everything, so I haven't uploaded in a, quite a while. Uh, I'm going to try to get into kind of a habit of um, trying to balance my, my work schedule versus my home life schedule. So uh, be sure to look out for more videos. Thank you so much for watching.